Galaxies hang out together. Isolated galaxies are rare. Where they aren't defines where they are. It's the ultimate yin and yang. Galaxies collect in groups and filaments. It's only been known for about 20 years that galaxies lie in these filamentary structures. It was a quite a big surprise, actually. Groups are swarms of galaxies, gravitationally bound, from a few to a few thousand. Big groups are called clusters. Picture, if you can, a structure a million billion times the mass of the sun. Filaments are formations of galaxies, stretched out by the expansion of the universe itself, stronger on this scale than the force of gravity. String-like or sheet-like, filaments can be curved like a bow or a sail, and can be organized into walls, clouds, and arcs on an immense scale. It turns out that the universe is filled with great structures in the sky, uh, long filaments meeting at nodal points where there are clusters of galaxies, even thousands of galaxies, all in a little knot. And then stretching out from those knots are these filaments, and it's like um, a highway network all over the universe. These things are all connected up. Filaments form a three-dimensional roadway, interconnecting the urban center clusters interspersed with local village groups. Walls and arcs are wide expressways, and filaments fractionate into footpaths. All filaments connect. You can get there from here. So much for what is seen, but what's missing may be more interesting. Voids, the absence of galaxies, tell us much about the why of the universe. Wherever you've got lots and lots of galaxies, you can be sure that you've got a void on its doorstep. Think of a pile of soap bubbles. Galaxies lie only on the surfaces of these bubbles, tending to collect on the great arcs where bubbles intersect. And that's really what we have now in the universe. A few very crowded places and lots and lots of really empty places. Huge concentrations of filaments and groups conglomerate into superclusters. Somebody has used the word cosmic web to describe these things, and I think that's a nice word. Cosmic web, because you have the idea that there are these filamentary, interconnected filamentary structures, there's big empty areas, and uh, the filaments come together in little points, probably where the spider is sitting. You were born in a supercluster of more than a dozen rich clusters measuring 400 million light years from side to side. Travel now with Explorer along the filaments that run through your neighborhood. Those are the Perseus Pisces arteries over there on the right. You're following the Pavel Indus arc down to the heart of the Great Attractor region where it joins the Milky Way arc near the Centaurus cluster and the Hydro-1 cluster. You're swinging now to survey the vicinity of the Fornax cluster. Look close along the right edge. There's the Milky Way galaxy, humanity's home. You are piloting Deep Space Explorer for a rendezvous with the Virgo cluster, the downtown urban center of your tiny corner of the universe.